Hello, who am I? And what should I do with my life? So I'm standing here talking with you right now because for a long time in my life, it's been a big struggle with me, the subject of money. And I've always been thinking about it for all my life that I can remember of how I was going to be a, a millionaire and how I was going to have so much money. And I really believed that I was going to be this person who was just had ridiculous amounts of money. Now, this wasn't my only desire in life. Um, at a very young age, I think at about the age of five, I believed I was going to be a famous singer. And um, you know what? Maybe I will be. <laughs> um, although I haven't had so much confidence in my singing, um, I have been complimented on my singing by many people. And some of those people have been the same people who have also maybe discouraged me from singing, maybe knowingly, maybe unknowingly. Um, and there are reasons that I can understand this. For example, when I was younger, I used to sing all the time. And especially when I was doing the dishes, which is what kind of a habit my mom um, got us into at a pretty young age. Um, when I was doing the dishes, I would sing as loud as I could, and I was probably sounding pretty obnoxious and had doubts about my voice and if it was good, and sometimes people would put me down. I didn't know if they were serious or not. Um, my mom, for example, told me that it, sometimes she would say things like, "It was that would make me feel like my singing wasn't good. Later on, I figured out maybe she didn't want me to sing so loud, so I was singing in a way that I wanted people to really hear me and um, know that I had a good voice, or at least I wanted to believe I had a good voice. So this is a little bit about who I am. And the reason I'm sharing this with you is for the sake of sharing, for opening up, for getting you to open up to yourself, to who you truly are, and for the benefit of, of me in self-expression and also for the benefit of me in expanding my ability to communicate and to increase my um, value to other people so that I can increase and so that I can increase my earning potential for one and um, I'm speaking about this right now because it just is a natural part of the flow of the conversation and obviously, as I mentioned before, something that I've been truly obsessed with in my life. And I do have multiple businesses and um, these businesses are not making a lot of money, but um, there are some of these businesses making money and um, trying to stick with a line here and it's just not working. but. That's okay, because I I feel like you're gonna you're gonna get out of this video what is is meant to um, meant to be for you, and I'm also getting something out of of the self expression, um, and I really hope that that is a value to you in itself. So one thing you can do to make a little extra money is create your own YouTube channel and start sharing with people what you are passionate about. And in this time that we live in, my personal belief is, is that it's a bigger value to see something real, something true, than it is to see a lot of TV programs or movies because a lot of these programs and, and things are meant to program you for one and for another, they are sensationalizing everything or trying to get you on some level that you haven't been gotten before so to show you some kind of novelty. But the problem with this novelty is they're pushing limits. These, these people who are, are not making quality movies anymore are pushing the limits for the sake of novelty and the content 
is lacking, for lack of a better word, um, in this moment. And a lot of times myself, being a big fan of watching movies for whatever reason, maybe it's a form of ex escape for me, some level of addiction, um, I just have left a lot of movies feeling very empty and feeling like I could have spent my time in some better way, which has led to me often finding myself seeking out information that is more in line with what it is that I'm truly passionate about in life and what I want to learn about and even um, putting my efforts and time into um, creating myself and making businesses so that I can benefit others and at the same time benefit myself. And for me, that is what life has come become about in a way is to be a person who is improving upon my own self for my own good and also thinking about how can I be of greater service to others without selling my soul, without going and doing some type of a job that I hate. And um, I can say for sure I've done so many different types of jobs and um, experienced so many different types of work situations with different types of bosses and different types of people I was working with. And I have no desire whatsoever anymore to fill out applications and prove that I'm worthy to work at a job that I don't even want to work at. And I feel in this time that I have a great defense for myself and I don't feel like I even necessarily have to defend my position, but for the sake of self-expression and for letting you get to know me, I feel like I'm a very health conscious person and I really look out for myself. So to give you an example of how I became more this way is there was a time in my life when I worked in a job with one of my uncles for the school district in the area that I live in right now and I was painting and when I was painting one day we were all inside a bathroom at the end of the day and there were several of us and we were painting with oil-based paints and I knew that oil-based paints were not really that good for you and maybe there was some airflow in the building we were working at but there definitely wasn't enough and we weren't wearing any kind of protective equipment to protect our brains and um, I was, was painting and at some point my eyes started to burn which is a message that is an important one for anybody who wants to avoid the inhalation of fumes you have to realize <clears throat> I'm pretty sure about this anyway that you're not just getting fumes through your inhalation you're also getting fumes through your eyes so my eyes started to burn so I just stated this out loud, my eyes burn. And it struck me as funny and it struck the other people in the bathroom as funny. And the next thing you know, everybody was laughing and pretty soon everybody was laughing uncontrollably. And then I started trying to stop laughing and I couldn't stop laughing. And I do perceive this as a good thing under most circumstances, but the reality of how I felt after I left the bathroom can be summed up in what my brother said to me. Because I felt a certain way and it wasn't really a good way even in spite of the fact that I just laughed which was a good thing um, but I asked my brother who was also working with me at the time how do you feel right now and he said I feel stupid and that is how I felt I felt like I had been damaged by this chemical and so since then I became hyper sensitive to any kind of chemicals that I perceive might be bad for my brain or might be bad for my physical self in any way. And I noticed the ways that different chemicals would affect me. And I noticed later on even certain cleaning chemicals that after I worked with them that I would feel like grinding my teeth. And so this is just an example of 
what has kind of made me go away from working in situations that are not conducive to health. So, that being said, looking at the wide range of jobs that are available, there are so many that put you in health compromising situations. And um, I understand that not everybody is going to be worried about those things or be concerned about those things like I am. And I say more power to you. You know, if you're comfortable being in a situation, you don't feel like it's harming you and you want to be in that situation, then that's your your deal. And, and I understand that. Um, but for me, I like to feel good. And I feel like the things that I've learned over time have helped me to feel better in a lot of ways. Um, number one is, is that my head is a lot more clear. And I feel like I'm actually a more intelligent and smarter person than I used to be. Is that have to do with my diet completely? I'm not 100% sure all of the factors that are playing into that. I do believe that it's a spiritual, um, there's a spiritual side of that equation too. Um, but I do know that I'm a much more conscious person than I used to be. I'm hyper conscious compared to what I used to be. And um, that comes with its highs and lows depending on the day. And um, in one sense, you know, you've heard the, the expression that ignorance is bliss. And there is some truth in that. And so me opening myself up like I have has exposed me to a different type of understanding of the world. And there is no going back for me that I can see. I've become a certain type of a person. And I'm, I'm happy with who I've become. But I also have sometimes wondered if it's a curse to be that kind of a person. Um, but I actually now really accept that it's not a curse, it's a choice. And I can go back. I do have the freedom to go back. Um, and there's possibilities that could change my mind about things as I am still an open person and I love to listen to others and get differing opinions from my own so that I can better understand myself and who I am. And so that's what I would encourage you to do. And I would encourage you to be an entrepreneur. I think we need entrepreneurs. I'm not ashamed to be an entrepreneur anymore as I used to be. Um, I used to have a problem with thinking about or with the idea that I would take money from people for anything. Um, and it's not that I didn't want money. It's just that I felt like, oh, I should be a good person and I should do whatever I would do for people without expecting anything in return. But the bottom line is, is that I just don't have the time to help everybody and not get anything in return. And um, I would like to be able to say that I could just give up everything and just let God take care of me as I believe God does take care of me even right now and that I'm being taken care of. Um, but maybe my faith is not big enough to completely let go of everything. And I make up excuses for that. Like I have children, me to make sure that they're taken care of. Um, these kinds of things. My wife is a stay-at-home mom. Um, but I shouldn't even say stay-at-home because she's a super active, amazing person who keeps our family involved in life on a number of levels and so she is um somebody that really helps my life to be a better life and um that being said getting back to the point of i am i, I believe that i need to be paid for the value that i provide in this world so i'm seeking out that value and I'm, I'm making these videos um, partly because I want to share knowledge and partly because I want to self-express, partly because I want to make a living doing what I love. And um, I encourage you to do that too. And I think there is room for um, lots and lots and lots and lots of people to do the kind of thing that I'm doing right now. And the reason that I say that is that I know not everybody wants to do this kind of a thing. And even if everybody wanted to do this kind of thing, they wouldn't all want to do it at the same time. 
So um, that being said, there's room for people like you and I to share our expression and get paid for it. And I also, there, there's something else that I wanted to say along those lines. Um, but for now, I think I'm just going to go ahead and say thanks for listening. I hope that what I shared with you about myself has helped you to get to know me a little bit better. And I look forward to getting to know you better. And I would love to know what your questions are. Um, my specialties are health, business, and um, maybe self-expression and um, psychology. I think I'm I'm a pretty good psychologist because I've had so many psychological issues to deal with in my own life that I've gotten to understand human nature pretty well. So whatever you want to talk with me about, I'm glad to share with you my personal perspective. And I'd love to hear yours too. And um, let's just see what we can do together. So thanks for watching and I'll, I'll see you soon.